Today's video is on normal distribution. In today's video, I am going to explain what is a normal distribution, when it is applied, what is the curve related to the normal distribution and so on. See here, first of all, for the continuous process, the most common pattern of distribution of a continuous variable found in nature, for example, the heights, weights, ages, intelligence, marks in the examination or lifespan, etc., can be discussed in normal distribution. See here, for example, the life of an item subjected to wear and tear of a tires, batteries, currency notes, etc. Next one, the length and the diameter of a certain products like pipes, screws, discs, etc. And next, the height and weight of the babies at birth or the aggregate marks obtained by the students in an examination or the weekly sales of an item in a stores. These are all topics can be discussed in, in normal distribution. See here. So what is the definition of this normal distribution? Let's get started. The definition here is a random variable x is said to have a normal distribution if its density function or the probability distribution is given by the formula f of x comma mu comma sigma is equal to 1 by sigma into root 2 pi into e power minus x minus mu whole square by 2 sigma square. Here x value lies between minus infinity to plus infinity. Mu mean is also lies between minus infinity to plus infinity and sigma is always a positive quantity. See here as you know that mu is nothing but the mean of the distribution and sigma is the standard deviation. See here, what is the curve related to the normal distribution? So this is the curve related to the normal distribution. See here, the curve has a maximum value at x is equal to mu. So mu is nothing but the mean value. See here, this curve, so this is the half curve and this is the half curve. So if you separate so this value will be, see here, this value will be 0 0.5 and this value will be 0 0.5. This is 0 0.5 and this is again 0 0.5 and this is otherwise called as a bell curve. See here, as it is in the bell shape, this is called a bell curve or the normal curve. See here, it's otherwise called as a normal curve. So we use this figure for each and every problem as it plays a vital role. See here the characteristics of these bell curve is the curve has a maximum value at x is equal to mu. At the mean value we have the maximum value for the curve. And next the curve tapers off on the either side but never touches the horizontal line. Uh, as you see this one it tapers on either side. That is so it diminishes but it never touches the x-axis. So the curve tapers off on either side but never touches the horizontal line. That is the another property of this curve. And next the curve. So it diminishes on the left side and goes up to minus infinity. See here. So it never touches the x-axis but it keeps on going until minus infinity on the left side. And on the right side it goes on till plus infinity on the right side see here the curve on the left side goes up to minus infinity and the curve on the right side goes to plus infinity got it see here the curve has maximum value at x is equal to mu so the curve has the maximum value and next the curve tapers off on the either side but never touches the horizontal line see that is the second property the curve on the left side goes up to minus infinity and the curve on the right side goes up to plus infinity and see here next next point here is the curve represents the normal distribution and it is called a normal curve so the curve is called the normal curve or the bell curve as it is in the bell shape see here the next property here is the total area bounded by the curve and the x-axis is one see here the total probability it is always equal to from minus infinity to plus infinity the function value always remains unity so this is the basic property for probability and next the area under the curve between the or ordinates x is equal to a and x is equal to b the area between x is equal to a and x is equal to b see here so this is between a and b so this is a and this is b so the area here is x is equal to mu so the area it is represented by so a less than b represented by 
the probability that x lies between a and b that is a less than x less than b is equal to integral a to b f of x dx so the limits are from a to b f of x dx so this is how we have to find the area and next the shape of the normal distribution see here what is the shape of this normal distribution so this is a bell shaped curve so this is 0 0.5 and this shape is 0 0.5 and the total probability that is minus infinity to plus infinity f of x dx value it is always equal to 1. So when represented through x axis so this is x is equal to mu and this point x is equal to mu plus sigma that is 1 times of sigma and this is mu plus 2 sigma and here comes in left hand side it is mu minus sigma and mu minus 2 sigma so if you compare with z axis z coordinates so here z is equal to 0 so this is z is equal to 1 z is equal to 2 z is equal to 3 and here z is equal to minus 1 z is equal to minus 2 so you can easily plot all the values after changing into x axis or y axis or z axis see here after plotting we can easily calculate the area and so so this is about the normal distribution and uh, the characteristics of this uh, normal distribution and how it works out and i'll be posting many more problems related to this series please go through this video for one more time if you don't understand and see all the problems are ready to be uploaded please have a look at those if you really like pass it on to your friends and thank you so much for watching and staying till the end